hello guys welcome back to the channel if you are new to our channel please make sure you subscribe turn on post notification like share and drop your comment right in the comment section as today's video promises to be exciting entertaining and at the same time educating as we are going to be telling you about the top 10 Igbo legend both dead and alive their contribution to the development of the Igbo tribe and culture and the impact they have left behind for those that are dead and also things they have contributed to make the Igbo culture widespread around Africa, Nigeria and the whole world at large. We are going to be telling you about their achievements, some of the things they have done, their impact and the legacies they have left behind for those that are dead and the things that they are still doing right now for those that are still alive. So guys stay tuned to the video, make sure you subscribe, very important, make sure you subscribe, like this video, share the video and also make sure you drop your comments in the comment section telling us how you feel about the video. Charles Chinedu Okehala was born on the 31st of March 1963, he's a Nigerian economist and businessman, born in London, England, he holds dual Nigerian and British citizenship. Proud to co-founding the investment firm AGH Capital Group in 2002, he was a professor of banking and finance at the University of the Witwatersrand in Johannesburg, South Africa. He has been nominated and won numerous awards, both national and international awards. He is a great asset to Ebolan and has contributed immensely to the development of the southeast region of Nigeria. Dora Inkem Akunyidi Professor Dora Inkem Akunyidi OFR was Nigeria's Honorable Minister of Information and Communication until December 16, 2010, when she resigned to seek to actualize her ambition of becoming the Senate Senator representing Anambra Central in the National Assembly. She is an internationally renowned pharmacist pharmacologist, erudite scholar, seasoned administrator, and a visionary leader. Before her appointment as a minister on December 17, 2008, Professor Akon Yili was Director General of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NADAC of Nigeria. She has gained international recognition and won hundreds of awards for her work in pharmacology, public health, and human rights. Born in Makodi, Benue State of Nigeria on the 14th of July 1954, Dora hails from Nanka and is married to Agulu, both in Anambra State of Nigeria. She died in an India hospital on 7 June 2014 after a battle with cancer. She is being celebrated as one of the heroes from the Southeast because she has done so well both at the national and international level with numerous awards to her credit. Chioma Ajunwa is a former athlete who specialized in long jump. After various setbacks in her career, she achieved fame when she became the first female athlete in the country and in West Africa to win an Olympic gold medal in a track and field event at the 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta. Till date, she remains Nigeria's only individual Olympic gold medalist. Ajunwa is also an officer with the Nigerian Police Force. In 2012, she was made the Divisional Police Officer DPO of Meran Police Station in Lagos. The former athlete turned police DPO was delivered of triplet, two boys and a girl, recently at the age of 41. She put to bed on September 3, 2012. Achieving such feat in her lifetime make her one of the best that have ever come out of Ebola and she is proudly ranked among the legends proudly from Ebola. Professor Chibo Akadibo, a great man reputed to inventing modern vocabulary using Igbo configuration. Dr. Chibo Wilberforce Okadibo, born December 17, 1941 was president of the senate of nigeria he was sometimes referred to as oyi of oyi in reference to his local government council area oyi he also held numerous political positions in the nigerian government he was known to be opposed to the ruling people's democratic party of nigeria which was led by president ulushegun obasanjo 
from the year 1999 to 2007. Indeed, he's a great man from the southeast region of Nigeria. And he is Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie is a Nigerian novelist, non-fiction writer and short story writer. She has been called the most prominent of a procession of critically acclaimed young anglophone actors that is succeeding in attracting a new generation of readers to African literature. Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie grew up in Nigeria. Her work has been translated into 30 languages and has appeared in various publications including The New Yorker, Granta, The O. Henry Price Stories, The Financial Times, and Zoe Trope. She is the author of the novel Purple Hibiscus, which won the Commonwealth Writers' Prize and the Houston Wright Legacy Award, and half of a Yellow Sun, which won the Orange Prize and was a National Book Critics Circle Award finalist, a New, a New York Times notable book, and a People and Black Issues Book Review Best Book of the Year, and a story collection, The Teen around your neck. Her latest novel, Americana, was published around the world in 2013 and has received numerous accolades, including winning the National Book Critics Circle Award for Fiction and the Chicago Tribune Heartland Prize for Fiction and being named one of the New York Times 10 Best Books of the Year. A recipient of a MacArthur Foundation Fellowship, she divides her time between the United States and Nigeria. With the above achievement listed, you will agree with me that Nchimamanda Ngozi Adichie is indeed a blessing to Nigeria and Igbo land as a whole, as she is an award-winning writer and novelist. Professor Philip Emiagwali, described as the Bill Gates of Africa from Igbo origin, Professor Philip Emiagwali is the inventor of the world's fastest processing computer. Emir Gwali ranked number one in greatest minds of computing and ranked first by Google for contribution to the development of the computer. The web owes much of its existence to Philip Emir Gwali, Time Magazine, a father of the internet according to CNN, one of the great minds of the information age by Bill Clinton, the White House. Emir Gwali was voted history's 31st greatest African which is a great achievement both for the Nigerian nation and indeed for the Igbo people. And he is being celebrated across the whole of Igbo land and also he is a great African who has contributed immensely to putting Africa on the world map of great inventors. Ngozi Okonjo Iwela, born on the 13th of June 1954, is a globally renowned Nigerian economist best known for her two terms as finance minister of Nigeria and for her work at the World Bank, including several years as one of its managing directors between October 2007 to July 2011. In 2011, Okonjo Iwela was reappointed as minister of finance with the expanded portfolio of the coordinating minister for the economy by President Goodluck Jonathan. She took a lot of heat, more so than any other government official for the unpopular fuel subsidy removal policy by the Nigerian government which led to occupy Nigerian protests in January 2012. She is currently the CEO of the World Trade Organization and one of the best brains out of Nigeria and she is proudly from Ebola. Chinue Achebe is a Nigerian novelist and author of Things Fall Apart a work that in fact led to his being called the patriarch of the African novel. Born in Nigeria in 1930, Chinue Achebe attended the University of Ibadan. In 1958, his groundbreaking novel, Things Fall Apart, was published. It went on to sell more than 12 million copies and been translated into more than 50 languages. Achebe later served as the David and Mariana Fisher University Professor and Professor of Africana Studies at Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. He died on March 21, 2013 at age 82 in Boston. Chuku Emeka Odumegu Ojuku 
born 4th November 1933, was a Nigerian military officer and politician. Ojuku served as the military governor of the eastern region of Nigeria in 1966, the leader of the breakaway Republic of Biafra from 1967 to 1970, and a Nigerian politician from 1983 to 2011, when he died at, at age 78. Chuku Emeka Odumegu Ojuku was born on November 4, 1933, at Zugeru in northern Nigeria to Sir Louis Philip Odumegu. Ojuku, a businessman from Inewi in southeastern Nigeria. Sir Louis was into transport business. He made a wise use of the business boom during the Second World War to become one of the richest men in Nigeria when he passed in in 1966. So it could be rightly said that Chuku Emeka Odumegu Ojuku was born into wealth. Up to today, Chuku Emeka Odumegu Ojuku is being celebrated across Igbo land as the pioneer and champion of the Biafran War, and he is being called a hero for his fight against the Nigerian nation. Samuel Ununaka Mbakwe, some say he is unarguably the best governor to have governed Imo State. Samuel Mbakwe was an Igbo politician and governor of Imo State. Southern Nigeria from October 1, 1979 until December 31, 1983. Described as controversial, late Mbakwe once said the following about politicians, September 1995. If you have not been in prison before, that will be your baptism and qualification. You will learn from the prison yard that not all those in detention are criminals. However, the love Mbakwe had for his people cannot be overlooked as he was given the nickname, the Weeping Governor, for crying while trying to convince the federal government to pay more attention to his state. The first occasion of his famed tears was the Indiegoro flood in Aba, which was then part of Imo State. He had invited President Shehu Shagari to witness the destruction done by the flood, and it was said that he was moved to tears while conducting the president around the disaster area. The Sam Mbakwe International Cargo Airport, which is located in Owere, the state capital, was renamed after him in 19... In 1981, Sam Mbakwe set up Imo State University. The campus was located in a territory that was ceded to Abia State in 1991 and was rechristened Abia State University. However, Imo State University acquired a new campus in Owere and still exists. Mbakwe died in January 6, 2004 in Abutu, Obowu local government area after a sickness which had set on in February 2002 and occurred shortly after a state-sponsored trip to Germany for treatment. Up to today, Mbakwe is a legend who has left impact. Thank you guys for watching the video. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications, like, share and drop your comments right in the comment section telling us what you feel about this particular video. And if you are a returning subscriber, always know that we appreciate you coming back to view our content. Lastly, make sure you check out our previous videos.